Hello everyone, Amud here from eTarget Common YouTube channel and I am here with another topic of research suit. So it has been really long series of research suit concepts but yeah I am trying to cover all the small topics so that you can be you can be a pro in research suit. Okay, so let's uh, let me explain the scenario first and then we'll see the solution of it okay so let me open uh, json online editor dot org okay which uh, which we are using frequently so here if you see i have one json object okay in this json object we have a property called book white space name okay so generally whatever properties we have seen earlier so we didn't find any white space right generally you can see it okay but in real time you might find some variable names in the json document uh, json object or json whatever it is so with some characters which are not supported by or which are not which which are not actually valid variables in java okay because suppose if you <coughs> if for the serialization and deserialization if you want to get the POJO for it okay so what we need to do generally let me go and start the process so inside the POJO package I am using the same project which I am using for other videos so here in this POJO class I am going to add a new class and I will name, name it as book okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a pojo okay so we know that we need to keep the same variable name right whatever we have here as of now it is so suppose i copy it and i will create a let me create the private then a string then variable name java will not allow the variable name with the white space right it is it is considering something else here okay and even you cannot put the double quotes also okay it, it it will also not allow you to do that okay so in this type of scenario you are stuck right so what uh, because we need the same property here then how it will work okay so we have a solution and that solution is provided by jackson okay so in this project in this project i have already added the jackson libraries okay which you can see here we have the jackson here open in yeah so we can see we are using 2.13.1 okay so how to how to create the pojo with the variable names for the json which are not a valid variable name in java okay so for this what need to do actually you can give any name okay okay any name uh, maybe but you need to give some meaningful name so what i'll do i will give book name okay and i will give another private string then author name right author name okay so these are very variable variables name but if you serialize or deserialize so it will not work right because it will, the variable names will not match so obviously it will give you the errors so for that what we need to do we need to use one annotation provided by jackson that is called json property okay so we have one annotation called json property let me import it from jackson annotation okay and here you need to give the actual name okay what what uh, that should come in your or that should be used during the serialization or deserialization means for the property book name actual name will be book name which will be used for serialization and deserialization okay you need to put in double quotes and same thing for author name okay author name okay 
so concept very simple if any variable you find that or any property in json you find that that cannot be a valid java variable then you can use json property and you can give any name to it and you need to give the exact same name under the json property okay let me add let me add the getters and setters here so source generate getters and setters select all and generate so that's all you need to do okay so let me use this in our example so i'll create another package i'll give name as json property examples okay inside this i will create a class json property okay x okay so what i need to do and create a main method and first what what i will show that in that pojo i'll create my json object okay so what i need to do and create an object of book class okay new book okay and set the value for it like set book name so what is book name data structure right okay then we have author name okay so mark henry okay so we know that we can use the object mapper to convert uh, into a json string okay so object mapper dot pretty printer then we have write value as string right we need to pass the book and it will return me a string so let me put book json object any name you can give here right and let me add the exception here so why solution not coming here okay i simply put through exception okay now let me print the json okay so let me run this program and you can see in the output we can see the variable names of json property names with the white space only right so whatever uh, in whatever format we want we can get it okay but you need to use the json property here json property annotation okay so actually this property name will be used for serialization deserialization it will not consider this name whatever we have seen earlier right so here whatever you are given the json property it will take the same value okay same thing you can use for uh serialization deserialization both okay so here what i did i converted a java object to a json object okay now convert the json object to java object okay so what i uh, what i can do i can use the same json object to convert it back to my java object okay so what i need to do we have read method object mapper dot read value and then i will pass the string json object and then value type will be book dot class okay so someone asked me to explain uh, why I, where, why we are writing like this so i will take that in another video okay so we know that if you are uh, converting the java of, sorry this json object to java object we can uh, use the pojo so it will return the same object type right so i will store in book okay so now we know that we have already get us method so b1 dot get author name b1 dot get book name right and it is it will give me the expected values okay mark henry and data structure so whenever you find any property in json object or json document whatever you have payload 
okay with the some special character which are not allowed to be a part of variable name in java okay like here you cannot create a variable in java book white space name okay we need to, we cannot put any white space in the variable name so in the, in such scenarios you need to use another annotation provided by jackson called json property okay so actual uh, so you can give any variable name but make sure that you put the json property annotation okay and pass the actual property name actual json property name which you want to be uh, used during the serialization and deserialization okay so this was a tiny concept but yeah it is really important okay and uh, you must have uh, come across with such scenario where you cannot create the variables with the same name okay okay so yeah that's it in this video so if you have any uh, doubt please comment on this video and if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone